what is up guys and in this video i'm going to show you how to make a player progress bar similar to this game right here all right so the first thing you're going to want to do is there is a link in the description for the model for this so go ahead click that and go ahead and import that into roblox so after you get into roblox it should just be a folder that appears in the workspace with a module script and a ui in it so we're going to go ahead and move this ui into starter gui and it should look exactly like this and then we're going to move this module script into the starter player scripts and we can go ahead and delete the folder it came with so in this top ui we can see it's basically just a frame with uh two images in it basically so this one is the icon at the end you can change this to be whatever you want so if you want like a treasure chest or something you can have that in there as well you know whatever you want to have there and then the template so this is the image with the players like profile picture on it so if you want to change this you can set this to visible the image will be changed whenever the player actually joins the game so don't worry about that and if you know if you want to have like a ui stroke or ui corner you can put those in there and it should work just fine if you want a background on it you can also change that uh just lower the background change the color of it you know whatever you really want to do and you can also change the frame here you can change the position size whatever um you will probably have to delete this ui aspect ratio constraint but uh either way you can move it change it however you want the color whatever all right so that's about it for the ui now the script so i have two scripts here the start script this, all this does is call the start function for this module script and in this module script there's a few variables that you'll probably need to change so how this works it gets the player's position like in the world and then plots it between the start position and the end position so wherever they are in between that that's where the ui icon will show so this is by default on the x axis uh, right here so you know you'll probably have to see what your start and end is for that so you can put it to wherever you want uh, it can be negative as well it'll work with negatives and all that stuff and that's really all you have to worry about for the script if you're if you want to change this to be like a y or a z so let's say you wanted the y instead of uh, x so how high they're going what you're going to need to do is down here uh, obviously change these variables to be start y start y end y and then down here all we need to do is in this render stepped function change this world x to be y or a z whatever you want so it's actually pretty simple to change between the y and the x um, easy to actually do so you can see whenever I walk this way, my frame moves over and obviously you can change this to, you know, you can change this to look however you want. Uh, right now, it just looks uh, kind of bad. And it does like if they go past the end, it'll just stay at the end right there. It won't go off the screen or anything. So that's nice, too. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this helpful at all, make sure you like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.